a house that I absolutely ruined in The Sims 4. At one time, it was a beautiful build that I made for every occult sim in The Sims 4. It had bedrooms designed for all their aesthetics. It was one of my favorite builds that I've made in a long time. And then one day, I decided to naturally release a bunch of chaos by leaving my Sims game unpaused for an entire Sims year in this house with every occult sim living here. And it clearly didn't end well. Flashback. I will link both the build and the gameplay videos down below if you guys want to watch the lore behind this build. So our job today is going to be to clean up that mess and renovate it into a house fit for a family. As the real estate agent here, I was able to pull some strings for this family under the condition that they will work hard to fix this place up. So this is going to be sort of like a rags to riches situation where the family is going to have to work to make money so that they can replace and renovate this entire place. And this video is sponsored by Care Of. This year, I have been focusing so much more on my health and Care Of is here to help. Care Of is a subscription service for high quality vitamins, supplements, and powders that ship right to your door every month. You can feel good about what you're putting in your body because their products are made up of clean, good for you ingredients backed by the latest science and research studies. The process of finding vitamins can be so overwhelming, but Care Of has a quiz that helps you figure out what's right for you. The quiz is really fast. It asks you questions about your diet, lifestyle, and your health goals. And it recommends which vitamins and supplements are right for you based on your answers. One thing I wanted to take a lot more seriously was my gut health. And taking the probiotics every day have really been helping me out with that. These little things are my secret weapon. I literally take them everywhere. They're called the pocket protector. And it's like this little probiotic powder you take without water, which I was a little skeptical about, but it tastes so good. So I just toss them in my purse just in case. I love the personalization of these packs and quizzes and the fact that they evolve with you. You can retake the quiz as many times as you want as your goals and needs change. So you can take care of's quiz and see which vitamins and supplements they recommend for you. Click the link below and use my code SIDMAC50 for 50% 50 off your first order with care of. And thank you so much to care of for sponsoring this video. Let's get back into it. Here are some of the rules that we're gonna be playing with for this challenge. Number one, all of the cleaning here has to be done by our Sims. We cannot hire any help, no maids or butlers. Number two, we can get money in any way we want other than cheating, besides the fact that I just cheated them into this house. No cheating starting now. <laughs> so we can get a job, we can sell stuff. Basically any money making is allowed. And number three, anything in this house that had any value has either been sold already or repossessed. So if we want to repair something, it has to be done by ourselves. Then we can keep it or sell it or do whatever with it. This house also had a whole bunch of lot challenges turned on. I think I'm gonna keep those, but they are gonna make our life a little bit more difficult here. For example, the filthy lot trait will keep it extra dirty in here. And the cursed lot trait can set fires, break things. We need these to go. So let's say for every 1,000 simoleons we earn, we can delete one lot trait. Oh, and one one more thing, we're gonna have to live with this quirky ghost Felix. <laughs> He's gonna live in the basement. Basically because I didn't want this mess to go away when I moved everyone in here, so we're gonna have to build him that. Anyway, <laughs> let me introduce the family that we're gonna be playing with. This is the Freehouse family. This is Jackie, our mother. Her aspiration is spellcraft and sorcery. We'll get to that in a little bit. She's also a genius, she's a maker, and she is a geek. Then we have her husband, Jacob Freehouse. He's got the nerd brain aspiration, he's a bookworm, he's ambitious, and he's also family oriented. The two of them have two kids. We have Joey, and he's got the artistic prodigy aspiration. He's also an art lover. And we have Ali, our little toddler. She is a charmer. Oh, and Felix. Felix, I dead, has the friend of the world aspiration. He's also a goofball. He's cheerful and he's outgoing. So can we really be mad at him? No. I'll also give you guys a really quick tour so you know what we're dealing with. You can see everything that's been left here is burnt. So we're gonna have to find a way to fix that for free. Many, many things are broken. Whoever is gonna be the handy sim has their work cut out for them. Them. But there are multiple bedrooms in here and if we can turn this around, this is gonna be a pretty good catch for this family. We've got dust bunnies everywhere. The floors need a very good vacuuming here. There's like leftover laundry from the owners before and quite a few urns. So we 
you're probably gonna have to build like a graveyard or something. So first order of business, we have to clean up all the trash and dirt off the floor. This mess is going to give us the uncomfortable moodlet until it's gone. So we have to do this before anything else. I'm gonna like rummage through the trash, pick up any of this stuff that needs to be thrown out. Like, ew, this garbage is so disgusting. And the good thing about having Felix is he can help out too, since this is partially his mess anyway. We are gonna have to keep an eye out for our toddler. I really do not want her to get taken away. I think we've had enough of that with the 100 baby challenge I did. Is that a dog in the house? I guess we're gonna have our fair share of stray animals too. Ew, the trash bin out here is disgusting. Okay, we're gonna need someone to come and clean that up. See if I can earn like any money from the garbage. Yeah, we got nothing. I think we have to take this stuff to the dump. So I spent the first couple of days literally just picking up garbage. It was actually really helpful having Felix around and it was nice having Joey around who was old enough to help out too. So we had quite the cleaning crew here and we all took turns taking care of little Allie because obviously she can't help out here. It was so satisfying watching all of this garbage get tossed, but I also needed to get the adults a job. We needed to start making money somehow. So I made Jacob join the civil design career, Jackie got a career in education, and Felix joined the politician career, which was fitting with all his outgoing traits. I see the toddler has been not helping us out here. And now that I've had a decent start getting rid of some of the garbage, I need to start repairing some of these items. There's no point mopping up any of these puddles because clearly <laughs> it's just gonna keep flowing. So I think I'm gonna have them both work on their handiness skill. Oh my gosh, there's a ghost here helping with the garbage. She's so helpful. I didn't hire her, so we're not cheating. There's actually a few ghosts in here. So both of my sims got to work starting to repair the objects that weren't burnt. Oh, she repaired the bathtub, yay. <gasps> there's a fire, oh no. What could possibly have caught fire in here? <laughs> Maybe all the piles of dust. We're gonna extinguish that. I'm gonna get Felix to do it because we have learned that he literally can't die because he's a ghost. Oh my God, no, it burnt my trash can. This is getting out of control. Okay, I'm gonna need to call the fire department. The fire spread all the way outside. We couldn't do anything during this time. We kind of just had to wait for it to go out. This is actually kind of lucky though because we earned our first small amount of simoleons from that house fire. This is actually great because this family is getting very hungry right now. And as you can see, our fridge is burnt. We can't use that. So with my insurance money, I'm going to buy them this cooler, which I'm gonna put outside. <laughs> and that way we can at least eat just until we figure out a way to fix the burnt items in this house. Everyone's gonna be living off cereal. So in order to actually fix the burnt things, you can just replace it, which obviously we're not gonna do. That would cost money that we don't have. You can actually fix burnt items with a smog vacuum that you can get through the civil designer career, or you can learn the Reparo spell from Realm of Magic. So I think I'm gonna make Jackie here head to the Realm of Magic world and she's gonna take on the spell casting journey. So let's head to Glimmerbrook. Once we're here in Glimmerbrook, we can go all the way to the back here and find the magic portal. It's right back here. We're gonna click on this and travel to the magic realm. We are coming here in a point of desperation. Look at my needs. I have $7 to my name. Hopefully this is going to solve a lot of our problems. So with $7 in a dream, I entered the portal and I started on my journey to find the practical magic sage. The practical magic sage in this save file is Mena Miyazaki. We're gonna introduce ourselves to her. Actually, there's a few things that we could learn here that'll help us out. The Reparo is number one. This is the one I wanna learn. But there's also the Scrubberoo spell where you can make something or someone squeaky clean. <laughs> we need a lot of that. Hello, please help me. I need to learn everything you know. Ooh, I think she's gonna help. Learning the magical arts is a wonderful and perilous journey. Are you sure you're prepared to become a spellcaster? I was born ready. <laughs> In order to bestow the gift of magic upon you, I will need seven magical moats. So those are these things that are just like scattered around the world. We're gonna have to collect seven of these. And if this is what it takes, girl, I will do it. So I uncomfortably <laughs> collected all of the magical moats in this world that I could find. And I always forget how beautiful this world is. While I'm here, I may as well look for frogs, see if I can sell anything out of this. See if we get anything from here. Oh, and we found a leaf frog. Get $10 from that and 20 from some random spare parts that I had. Oh my gosh, there's a shower here. I can take care of myself. I feel bad abandoning my family right now to do this, but it needs to be done. With seven magical moats in my inventory, I'm returning to mana. Here you go. I'm getting the power. Jackie is now a spellcaster. We're actually completing part of her aspiration here too. And next thing I need to do is 
is learn a spell. I can't share my knowledge with just anyone. Let's get to know each other first and then I'll decide if you are worthy. So I spent some time getting to know Mana, trying to get our relationship up in hopes that she would teach me a new spell. And after a little bit of time, she finally agreed to teach me something new and I learned the Reparo spell. Yes, this is going to be so helpful. <laughs> I don't know how long it's gonna take me to learn the cleaning one. So I think I'm gonna return home and show my family what I've learned. Okay, first thing I wanted to fix was this fridge. So let's do the Reparo spell on it. I'm about to repair everything. Okay, come on girl, you can do this. <gasps> yes, my Reparo spell. It worked. Oh, this is so great. Now I can cook. We're gonna use that on everything in this room right now. So I repaired counters. I used my magic to repair the sink that was broken. That backfired a little bit though and actually set fire. Uh-oh. <laughs> We're still a baby spellcaster here. <laughs> Not again. Okay, the fire went out. Let's try and be a little bit more careful this time. Oh, she's a spellcaster neophyte now too. Good. Maybe we won't set fire to anything anymore. I used my magic on the stove and on the countertops. Okay. I got a little carried away with the Reparo spell and Jackie started experiencing <gasps> magic overload, which can literally kill you if you keep casting failed spells. Except I did not know that at this time. So I went on like nothing was wrong and kept doing it. Here I am looking death in the face, completely unfazed. Eventually I figured this out, but this is not the first time I'll make this mistake here. Okay, I have managed to repair this entire kitchen with magic. I think it's actually really cute that this build was destroyed by magic and will be repaired by magic. We love a full circle moment. Now that we've done that, we can start mopping up the puddles. I really need a vacuum. All right, while all the Sims are like cleaning up garbage in the house, Jackie is repairing everything. I don't think we even had a functioning toilet before this. Spellcaster overload, uh-oh. <gasps> Oh no, wait, is that okay? Is she gonna die? Oh, she's good. She's literally not. I'm also having Jacob still repair things like on his own since clearly Jackie is a little bit overloaded. Despite Jackie being on the brink of death, I continue to use the Reparo spell on things the family needed. Like beds, we finally fixed up the vacuum. And even though she was overloaded, she did not die. The stamina on this girl was insane. And now we can use the vacuum to clean up. Vacuum around immediately. No more house fires. I'm so sick of it. We're doing a deep vacuum on these floors right now and everything is gonna hopefully look a little cleaner here. And meanwhile, Felix was the only one who had to work on weekends. He was headed off to his first day of work. I found it helpful to focus only on the first floor in terms of all the vacuuming we had to do. Ooh, Felix came home with $112. Okay, we need to start bringing out the money making techniques. One of the quickest ways to make money in The Sims 4 is through the easel. So I just need a little bit more money before I can get that but that's gonna be the first thing we're gonna buy to make money. If you guys have ideas, by the way, leave any comments for how to make money for these Sims. I don't think we're gonna be planning like a long let's play here just until this house is finished, but let me know any ideas you guys have. Jackie got the curse of uncontrollable charge from failing spellcasting too many times. What does that even mean? I've never had that happen to my Sims before. Thank God for Felix, honestly, the hero in this story. She's gone through it with this spellcaster overload here, but at least now we have another bed for Sims to sleep in. We've done a pretty good job at repairing. Everything in the first floor bathroom is fixed. Everything in the second floor bathroom is too, except for this toilet, which I'm doing manually. I don't want her to overload again. It's only been a couple days and already you can tell that this house is getting better, but it's been a lot of work. One of the hardest parts about this cleaning journey was getting the floor to be clean. We had to first vacuum to get rid of all the dirt, but then taking care of all the burnt spots on the floor was a different story. But after scrubbing away for literally hours downstairs, we could actually start to see the wood. I think I actually just saw the floor sparkle a little bit. <laughs> I'm going to finally move our urns outside. I want to make a designated area for them. I just don't really know where yet, so I'm just going to take all the urns on this lot and move them over to this like corner for now. There's quite a few of them. We've got four there. I know there is one over here in the yard. There's one upstairs. My gosh. At this point, I realized we had cleaned up pretty much the entire first floor. So my next order of business was making money for a toddler bed and hopefully the easel we wanted. I started repairing some objects that we didn't need like these decor items. Of course I set a few things on fire first but with that money we were finally able to build our toddler a room. I'm gonna try and find the cleanest bedroom which I think is currently probably this one here. So I think what I'm gonna do is buy a toddler bed. We can put that in here. I have
haven't repaired some of the burnt lighting in here yet, so I can't get rid of that, but I can at least replace the flooring. Maybe just something a little less spooky for my toddler room. It looks so funny with all the burnt lights, but it's at least looking a little less scary. We're gonna also buy some cheap toys. For now, I can probably only afford like something like that. We can buy a cheap rug. And the other thing I wanted to buy was the easel. So maybe we can actually put that in this room since we'll be spending a lot of time in here with the toddler anyway. And I'm gonna change the color of the doors here while I'm at it. The occult theme is leaving. I guess I could also change the wallpaper, maybe to something that costs the same amount of money. So $2 for the wallpaper that's on there. Let's change it to something lighter. Maybe for now, I'll just replace it with like a wallpaper with some trim. I'm gonna even come in here and change the swatches of everything I have in my kitchen. This isn't gonna cost any money, but it is going to be a way to make it look a little less like spooky. <laughs> the flooring in the main room is $4, so I can replace it with this. I can replace my stairs here for free. We can replace the railing too. And I've added some cheaper flooring and wallpaper options in this bathroom, even though we're not quite finished with her yet. Okay, we barely spent any money here and this is already looking so much better. Clearly there's still things that we have to fix in here, but changing some of the lighting in here too just made it look a lot more like a family home, which is what we're going for eventually. What we could do to get more money is since this stuff here has been repaired, we could sell it and buy cheaper things. So I mean, it's like a little bit of money we can get in the process. And Felix got promoted, so we got a little bonus there as well. Okay, let's change that lot trait that starts the fires because this is so counterproductive. We definitely made a thousand, so we're getting rid of this one here. Next one's on my list to get rid of, the filthy one, the grody one, and the gremlins. Those gotta go as quickly as possible. Those are causing a problem. So I think I'm gonna have her repair the robot station here. Her overload moodlet has left, so I'm hoping she'll be okay to do this. And there we go, we can sell this and hopefully get us over our next thousand. So let's get rid of the filthy one. That is what we're trying to fix here. And now things won't get as dirty as quickly. What are some other expensive things I can repair? The organ up here, we can repair that. Yes, there we go. This is something we definitely do not need. There is 976. Let's do this dresser right here. Oh yes, she did it. She's going to have the overload, but it should be okay because I don't have the moodlet. This poor girl. And she's good. Okay, good job, Jackie. Jackie Freehouse got the curse of the Night Wraith from letting this spellcaster power explode. What does that mean? Okay, anyway, we're gonna delete that. Let's get rid of the gremlins one because that one causes things to break. That should help us out a lot. What is gonna happen with this Night Wraith? A spectral stalker is hunting you, but where are they now? Good luck trying to sleep. Oh my God. All right, I am nominating Jacob here to do the painting. So we're gonna start with that. We're not gonna make a whole lot of money at this in the beginning, but this is gonna be another side gig we can use to make some cash, especially since the two of them haven't worked yet. Money income has been slow. Once we get that painting skill up, we're gonna be golden. Our toddler is sleeping in her new bed. Because of the lot trait, we've had a lot of meteors, <laughs> which breaking these is actually giving us some elements that we can sell. None of them that I've gotten so far have been too pricey, but at least it's something. I'm pretty sure the only garbage left in this entire first floor is in this room here. So our lovely child sim here, Joey, is collecting the remainder of that while our firefighter Felix is taking a well-deserved rest. I've just vacuumed the rest of the floors and I'd say from where we started, this place is looking pretty good. We definitely have a long way to go. We've got still some annoying lot traits happening and a lot of burnt things that have to get fixed. But compared to where we started, for example, what the second floor looks like, we have come a long way already here. We're all off to work today. Joey is off to school. We're gonna have to send our little one to daycare because we can't hire a nanny. I think I'm gonna end this here. This is probably only gonna be like a two, maybe three episode thing here. Next time we should be able to repair all of the remaining burnt things and hopefully clean up the second floor. And then we can focus on getting as much money as possible to actually renovate this thing. So I'm gonna leave this here. If you guys like this video, this mini let's play series, make sure you like the video, comment and subscribe for more. That's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.